Hello. Adney. What's going on? What's going on? Thank you for tuning in to another Live from the Corner broadcast live right here on listenvision.com. Right across the street from uh, Howard's main campus. We are live from the corner, and I am uh, Breezy Chiba. Hi, I'm Louisa Love. And of course, I am your man, AI, AKA Red Nose. You dig? And we are so happy for y'all to be joining us on this eve of the eve of Valentine's Day. So I hope y'all have some. Uh, you know, good plans for Valentine's Day. Hope y'all had that special person or your hand or whatever you do. Before we get started, <laughs> PJ, I'm looking a little red over here in this corner. Can you turn that light, that, yeah. that, that light fixture over here towards me, bro? That center one right above you. Yeah, See but you uh, yeah, again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hey. live, <laughs> live from the corner right here. <laughs> Listen, Vision, right here, live from the corner. Um, How was y'all weekends, man? I don't even know. Oh! You don't know I, how I your weekend was? Because it went so fast. I'm telling you. It, well, Sunday I went to a um, Laugh and Love tour uh, conference. It was pretty cool with um, TC Killer, Ace uh, Metaphor, and uh, three Mike the Poet. It was three different poets. It was pretty cool. Me and my cousin went. It was really cool. I remember seeing the pictures. Ain't one of those dudes the ones that be wearing a little shower cap? Always yeah, talking that crazy Yeah, <laughs> Tarika. And yeah, that was him. He was funny. Yeah, That's he was funny. crazy. He's cool. We talked to him for a long time. He actually sat and had a whole conversation with me and my cousin. Talk about what? Nothing. We were just sitting Chitlin there talking. Loaf. He, he was bored. He was talking. lost in D.C. No, he was, he, he, was, he was probably fine and stuff. He was from Texas. <clears throat> okay, all right. So cool, cool, um, cool. he was telling us that he had to go. After he left Sunday night, he had to go back down there and whoop butt because his child was acting crazy. He had a 10-year-old. Oh, yeah. So it was pretty cool. Was pretty you got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. And of course, me. I ain't do nothing. I just relaxed and cooled out. That's it. That's all I do. Relax and cool. So I can get ready for the craziness right here on this show. Mm-hmm. Now, before we even get started, hold on, Breezy. Hold on. We ain't getting right into nothing, okay? My, my weekend? All right. What is the best gift you ever got on Valentine's Day? Then you can continue with your weekend. You know what? That's a good question. I, I have to think about that. Uh, I got to think about that. Deep concentration, okay. Yeah, How was your weekend, yeah, 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 bro? Man. You know, my week was pretty good. Actually, my weekend was a weekend of the weekend before because the weekend before, you know, I was, uh, you know, at the uh, DC Music Summit, so I didn't really have a weekend that weekend. Um, this weekend was cool. You know, they didn't do, uh, you know, too much. So it was cool. That's you know, what's up. I, I, I actually haven't had a weekend in, in, in quite some time. So this weekend was definitely a... Work hard, a, man. Know, Work uh, hard. Now listen, edition. everybody out there, I don't know if you understand this, but it is monumental that Breezy found a red shirt, okay? <laughs> Look, I, I, I this don't... This fool here. I don't... And, and, and that's this is burgundy. It's not even red. Well, it's, it's a red... You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't like red. No disrespect to the color red. I, I happen to think that red is an ugly color. You know that's racist, right? Because you got two red people over here. I'm, well, I'm no, yellow. you yellow. I'm red. I'm actually red. Okay. So, yeah, the fact that I actually have on red is, is monumental within and of itself. I asked him to, even though he trying to make it seem like he walked to work. I did. I mean, this is why I wear it. Look, so at work, it's, it's just casual, but I don't have a whole lot of like, khakis other than like dickies, but that's not really working. So I, I, I go to work dressed. So this is something that you know, I would have worked, you know what I mean? And um, well, I appreciate you weighing it to work. That scares the shit out of feminists that are listening because what do you do when, like, your lady has a period? Do you, like, freak out when you see a maxi pad or something? Like, o- only, you, only you <laughs> would think of that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It, it, it's actually funny that you mentioned, you know, ladies' time in, in that particular region of a woman. For sure. Uh, the person who's a... Fourth, baby daddy, I am trying to become Miss mm. Erica Badu mm. is releasing a line of perfume that smells like her JJ. I want me a bottle. <laughs> this is what's killing me, right? Because <laughs> in the article, right, she says that the process of making an incense and that to harness the scent and influence it, it took a lot of pairs of her panties. Yeah, she she took them and she cut them up and burned them. Why don't she just make tea bags out of them and just put it in like yeah, liquefy them or something, water. right? Yeah, <laughs> liquefy them or, or some water shit. Water would dilute it. Water would dilute it. Now, ladies, I'm gonna put them in a blender or something, right? Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Speaking, hey, look, before we got on, we were talking about Jay Electronica coming out with his first <laughs> album in 14, in 14 years, years, right? right. That is a baby father of Erica Badu. We have other examples of uh, um, 
not baby father, but uh, my man, uh, uh, Common. 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 And then you uh, have DOC. Uh, DOC. Yeah, DOC is the first. DOC is about the only one that stayed legit. He still wears, you know, his regular fitted well, well, caps well, or whatever. You know what? It's funny that you, you say that because mm-hmm. everybody assumes that, you know, that she has this effect mm-hmm. on the men. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, um, I saw Rafi Sadiq, one of my, my favorite, you know, artist, one of my favorite artists. Oh yeah. Uh, um, on um, on Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. And I remember I read an interview that he did. Um, I think in Vibe, just from years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, because he worked a lot with Eric Badu, mm-hmm. and, and he was saying uh, that it was an industry wide, like open secret or open joke, right? Don't look at Eric Badu in her eyes. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows this. Right. But at that time, this was like 97, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, or 98, something like that. Yeah. And, he, and he was like, you know, first time I went to the studio, he looking at the wall, he looking at the ground, he looking at everything but her. And then she's like, man, what the, what's up? She's like, I, I, look, you ain't, you ain't trying to do it like that. So, <laughs> so, so the, the joke is she changes these men. Mm-hmm. Now, if you ask these men, they will tell you something different. Like, um, on Rever- um, Return Against Them, the first song on uh, Outcast of Quimini. Yeah. You know, with him... Having transitioned from, you know, a D boy, mm. you know, to a more eclectic, and in that song he's like, yeah, people's like, yeah, is is he uh, is he in a cult or is he gay? Mm. And he's like, no, this is just a fe- you know form of expression. Mm. I'm feeling better than I ever had before. Look at Common, Southside South Chicago, with she had fitted caps and, and everything. No, it wasn't no fitted caps. It was all knitted. What's the matter? What's the matter? How he went? How he went? Body wear, everything. Don't say something before then. Before then, like he was yeah, wearing yeah, no fitted, yeah. you know, Chicago Bulls and everything. Yeah. And then they see wearing Kufis and everything. But they both said, and I don't know, maybe she opened the door, they, they third eye or something. They oh, both she opened said, the door. What happened? They both yeah. said that this is their, this is just like part of their natural growth. Yeah, it's but, a half the course out there. Let me tell you what her. happened. Let me tell you why she said she said she doesn't do any voodoo. She doesn't do anything. What she does is listen. Now, ladies out there, that's what all is. you have wow. to do to have a good smelling coochie is listen. No. Is that what Erica Badu was saying? No, what she's saying oh, my is bad. why <laughs> she doesn't have. <laughs> There's no magical effect, black magic. All she does is listen to her men. That's what it is. I'm a Pisces. She's a Pisces. I think it's more magic. But you know what? So <laughs> I think it's something special. I've, 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 I've been blessed in the last couple of years because Erica Badu is my, is my favorite you know, woman artist. Mm-hmm. I'm a huge Tony Tony Tony. Rafi Sadiq is my, my, my favorite you know, male artist. So I, I've been blessed to have seen both of them you know, live. And when I saw Erica Badu, well, I was like, you know, in, in the crowd, obviously, it was like you could feel like a presence. Mm-hmm. Was great. this the concert <laughs> at DAR where she went and did the fake little waves and she got in the tights, the black tights, and did all that? Battery? No, so I, I probably would have fainted. Her. I probably would have fainted. No, I, it was beautiful. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this, this was like uh, 2016. <laughs> this was the uh, Summer Spirit Festival because okay. she headlined on that Saturday and Jill Scott headlined on Sunday. Okay. So Jill Scott is not the greatest performer of all time. It, I, I'd rather see Erica Badu. She gave one hell of a she show. Gave a show. She oh gave my one God. hell of a show. And, and, and so, like, I'm not sure if it was just the show that she gave, what, but like, you could feel the vagina. A I could you feel the that. smell of that vagina in the air? I would have loved to, but no. You the more the she twirled and twerked. <laughs> and so, but no way. Machine. Her coming out with a line of perfume smelling like her for JJ is it, that's the only she could think of some shit like that. Well, I don't think that no, she thought not about the it. First one, Jay. Y'all yeah, remember, remember Boomerang, Jay? I remember oh, Strange. Yeah. Jay. I remember that. <laughs> that. That was. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you listen. Who was the first one? I don't remember. I, you know, I, I forgot, must say she was the first. She's not, but yeah, but they. Oh, damn, who was the first? Well, what I'm saying is, it was, when uh, I heard someone, this, I'm like, oh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow? Yeah. Who the hell? What the hell? Has a sweet smelling vagina. I, I'm. Well, who would want to smell? Anyway? <laughs> oh, but man. she did, and then um, that's what um, Badu was saying. She, she you know, but, she could do it too. But well, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's gonna right. get more now, than Gwyneth did. I'm not. I'm not actually like uh, understanding. Is this for men? Or is this for women? Is this unisex? Well, that, well, well do you remember who wants the smell of that vagina? You may not. You may not. You may, may um may not remember, but about a month and a half or two months ago, we did a story uh-huh. about mm-hmm. a woman. That said, that kind of religious pheromones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it's supposed to be for the women but to she, attract men. The underwear, she would just go and 
No, but she was like, from yeah, her and put it on her neck. So it's supposed to be for the women to put on to attract men. Now I hear that it's an incense, but if this is actually bottled, I'm gonna put that shit in smoothies, <laughs> everything. Like I'm gonna be, I'm good. <laughs> Erica, I'm gonna do voodoo. I'll I'm just, gonna make a doll uh, with you, uh, and I'm putting that shit well, everywhere. You be, I'm gonna put it in my favorite lotion she, <laughs> when I have alone time. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> she, she inspires a lot of women to do the same. But what I'm saying, when, when I heard this story, I was like, I'm not surprised because it's Erica Badu. Like, I, if she did not come out with this at any point in her life, I'd probably be like, what's wrong with her? Like, that's something I expect for, for her to say and do. I'm pretty Man, sure it's a amazing, lot of women man. that walk around with their sin on. What? Now, okay. Hey. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 Ain't bad. It ain't bad. I mean, hey, look, look, you trying to get, look, smell like a little bit of oodles and noodles in that motherfucker. Somebody look. been making some hookups lately. Look, you trying to get me beat up? You trying, you trying to get me, you trying to get me beat up? <laughs> Everybody knows it was, yeah. but it might not have been. Uh, he looking like, look, look, you, you trying to get me hemmed up? Man. <laughs> Are you around here smelling vaginas wearing right, red? Right, 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 right. Crip. <laughs> right. You, you, look, you try, you try to get me. You can't eat, you ain't even allowed. Yeah, look, you try, I'm telling you, look. I'm, I'm about to hear about this later on. I, I know I am. <laughs> it was a joke, Neil. <laughs> hey, but if anything, if anything, I will dip sage in that and then burn it, man. Like it's some kind of spirit animal that's within her, man. There's some type when of fur that she has. You have you you release a lot of things, so she has a beautiful spirit on her, and it flows. No, she she. I mean that, that that's one thing that I've hear. You know, you hear rumors about people in the street. No, you hear rumors I, about I, her vagina. No, but saying besides that, I, I hear like. That she is, actually is a down to earth person, period. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so shout out to Eric Badu for thinking outside the box. Get it to the okay. box. So, before we move past this, what would you expect it to smell like? Give me any type of like material, any type of essence of earth, anything. Rare earth I'm metals. Good. What do you think? Sage. Sage. You? What do you think it'll smell like? It'll probably be fruity. Me? I think it will smell like uh, well oiled leather. <laughs> Okay, we're all left with a little that salt and pepper on that it. motherfucker. Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna be something really off. It's gonna be something that you're used to. It's gonna smell like a curry out or some shit like that. Oh my god. Something that attracts us black people. <laughs> it might smell like greens and cream. Smell like. It might smell like. General a Souls vegan chicken. Meal. I can I can see that. I can see the General Souls chicken. We love General Souls chicken. Homemade. I think so. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, you know, <laughs> if you partake in, you know, the strip club for the, you know, pole gymnastics, right, um, you got to have a strong core, right, your, your abs game got to be on on, on a hit, uh, your legs got to be strong. Mm -hmm. right? Who knows that? Huh? How do you know? I mean, shit, to, 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 to just have your body, lower body attached to something, you got to. Um, I, I don't know if strippers that are, that are on the pole, if they get, you know, if they have fear of heights. You can't, depending on how you go. I mean, shit, enough money, that'll make you forget anything. So, you know, people can't have fear of heights. Uh, there's a case where a lady, a stripper, was on a 20-foot high pole. And she's a professional. I give it to her. She knows how to keep the show going. She fell off 18 of the 20 feet. Onto the stage, hit her chin, kept twerking like nothing happened. And we definitely have film of this. We're gonna run that film. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Professional right there. You ain't gonna stop her grind. Hey. Now that is her after. The after effect, she chipped some teeth. Uh, we and actually have her jaw, talk. Right? We actually have film of her explaining what happened. I I believe so, right? Yeah, go ahead. Let me do PJ. Um, so I didn't want to have to do this. Um, Kanye West through the wire. Didn't plan on posting about this situation at all. Um, but obviously the video has gone viral, and I'm getting 
a lot of messages asking me if I'm okay and like all this stuff. So I decided I'd update everybody and let everyone know what's going on. Um, I pretty much broke my jaw and I have to have surgery on it tomorrow. I um, broke some teeth and I got a sprained ankle, but aside from, and I got some stitches, but aside from that, like I'm good. I, I have no broken limbs. I walked away myself. I got up that? right after it happened. Um, and I'm just really overwhelmed by all, right, all the messages. We can come on back. Come on, come on back. Now, I would like for her to make a perfume from her vagina. That is extra strength vagina right there. You know what? Well, to I'm, crack I'm, your teeth I'm seeing and that get video. up and twerk on a handstand with a broken jaw. I'm, I'm seeing that video, and I'm just getting shades of you know oh, Kanye West through the wire. Crazy. <laughs> you know, him rapping a song with a broken, with a broken jaw. Um, she damn near made that recording with a broken jaw. Well, you know what? It's for it to be a broken yeah. jaw, for it to be a broken jaw, it is not that swollen in comparison well, to most fractured. people I've seen. It's, it's fractured. fractured. It's fractured. It's fractured. It's not, yeah, it's so not. she's a tough cookie. Okay. I'm I mean, amazed at it. So I uh, reached out. To, I know a couple of stripper friends mm -hmm. or one that worked in the industry, and I reached out to one and one um, named Sade. Hey, Sade. You gave um, her name out like that? I, she gave me permission. Okay. She gave me permission. Okay. I asked. There's a million and one shaw days in the world. You don't know who I'm talking about. Well, she said, um, she said, well, I'm just, I'm just happy she's okay because the fall could have been fatal. It's always scary doing pole tricks. I have saw a few, um, saw people fall before, but not like she did, <laughs> and was still able to even walk after that. Um, she also, um, she said, she just pray that no one else experiences the type of fall the girls um, have to be careful at all times. But then she also said. Um, she feels what well, she feels. It's nice that so many people, you know, gave the money for her, helped her out instead mm -hmm. of thinking everything. Instead of everybody thinking it's funny, she's upset about the fact that people thought it was funny. And um, if they were hurt like that, would they think it's funny? All but, right. Yeah. Well, we don't feel like it's that funny, but that shit is pretty funny. I, I hate to say this. Now, your friend Sade, right? Mm -hmm. You failed to ask her what injuries have sh has she. I don't think Sade had, had any injuries. So let me ask you this. What did they just have like super gripping tight thighs? How do they stay up there without bruising themselves, um, burning, well, Indian burns, things like have that? To, it's a lot of pressure. So you do have to, like he said, you have to have That's strong right, core. core, which you can do with yoga and all that other stuff. And it's a lot of thigh work. So it's like the thigh, your thighs are strong. And you do a lot of, when you do the twirls, you cross your legs and you do it with your thigh meat. Thigh meat. Mm -hmm. You have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, that's kind of why they all the... I am. I, I I wish her the best. She actually raised twenty eight grand mm -hmm. and some change within the, and so the day. So that go because you know um, they don't have. Well, she probably have her own insurance, hopefully. But you know they're, they're um, independent contractors, yeah, so they don't get industry. insurance. They don't get. And then they the um, the strip club was like she worked part time, so she really didn't get all the extra incentives that the other you know full time strippers did. But I'm glad she was able to get the money. Now I've been to strip clubs that had. 20 feet, 30 feet poles, 30 foot, excuse me, 30 foot poles, um, one in Baltimore specifically, and um, it, it, yeah, yeah, hey, my man, <laughs> my man, Norman James, right, right, right across from the prison, right, right over there at the prison yard, they got the right, poles out there, my right, man, my man, the West Side Slim right. over that joint, mm -hmm. and uh, went over there, and uh, yeah, I've seen that, I've seen the abilities of a, of a, of a woman that can do that, but there's got to be a cap to it. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a cap. I mean, 30 feet? Damn. That's a lot. Yeah. That's, that's a I mean, lot. that one right there, that's 15 feet. You figured that was half of the distance between the roof. I mm. thought 20. She didn't even go all the way up. Yeah, you something, did. something happened that she slipped or something. But you know what? I would think that oiling the pole would be counterproductive. Wouldn't it make it harder to grip? Well, I don't know. Cause, well, they have oil yeah. on them, so it kind of, you know, all this. It's, it's really dangerous. It's a really dangerous job just to entertain, but... It's no telling. What it's no telling what happened when she was up there. It, it's no telling. I personally feel sorry for her, and I have no clue why she would risk going up that high. Well, it's entertainment. Man, she lucky as hell. I mean, the, but the, she's lucky as hell. Do you? Well, not you, but does a stripper get more <laughs> tips the higher they go? Mm -hmm. Audience for one thousand. 
They say yes. The it's higher they go, the more yeah, tips so they the higher they go. So well, I tell you what, she should have got a million tips after that fall and get, and kept twerking, yeah. I, I mean, ain't seen nobody throwing no ones. I mean, everybody was just in shock. No, yeah, I told you, I told you, she like, professional, oh. man. I told you, she professional. The show must go on, right? <laughs> tell me how she walked yeah, the way she did. twerked the way. I, <laughs> I mean, she was working. She was on the job and. We gonna yeah, yeah, hey, look, hey, look, I tell you what, if she ever goes back, I hope that she stays off the pole because she's gonna have some PTSD after that. Mm, she's yeah, gonna be nervous. She she's not and, gonna come. Uh, out. But I'm definitely gonna check her out. I'm definitely gonna go support. Oh, okay. You know, right. my measly twenty dollars that such I only help, spend. Helpy help her toes. <laughs> yeah, 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 I might have to. I might have to. Yeah. She's a vet. <laughs> but before we go to break, I have to shout out Gurry Golf Dowdy, man, at www.gurrygolfdowdy.com. And you can get premium golf apparel from him, man. Look at that symbol right there. Uh, we told him to try to change that to a uh, chocolate guy or, <laughs> you know, a semi. I don't know. That's kind of your complexion. Yeah, it's your complexion. No, not me. I'm red. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm more uh, different. I match all y'all shirts. It's all good. But y'all can hit him up, man. He also makes it for the kitties, too, man. Hit him up at www.gurrygolfdowdy.com, man. Again, thank you very much. And when we come back, we're going to give some little fun Valentine's Day uh, topics. Some <laughs> Valentine's Day topics and little facts and a poem. A poem? Yeah. yeah. When we come back, Louisa will be on the stage reciting a poem. I'm going to be right here reciting Doing a poem. Oh, you right here, though.
gonna read this poem. <laughs> My heart is on fire. <laughs> okay, and it's called Burning with Desire. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody burn Preparation H. Okay. <laughs> are you ready? We are ready. Okay. The title. I'm not gonna get the title till it's over. I want you guys to figure out who this is for. I wanna be the lint ball swimming in the waves of your hair. Hmm? <laughs> I want I don't be. have waves. <laughs> So it ain't for me. <laughs> I want to be your everything. When you wake up in the morning, I'll be that boogie in your nose ring. Oh. I want to be close like the ash on the back of your knuckles, elbows, and knees. Please, baby, 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 please. And this is an ode to Breezy Chiba. Breezy. Oh. From Reesey Cut. Oh, we got Reesey Cut in the house. Oh no, come on camera, goddammit. Uh-uh. Bring your ass. You got a mic in her. You better bring your ass. Bring I your come ass. I can't make a mic in my hand. Don't make me come All right. in your ass. Be cool. <laughs> <laughs> this fool running around here getting Valentine's gifts. Look at you. This this for my baby daddy. Okay. <laughs> you know. We was talking about making that perfume out. Come on up. I come got on you, up. Boo. I got you. Come on up. No, you got to come up, up. Just because we love each other. Get up. Walk up the stairs. <laughs> or walk in front of the camera. There you go, right there. Yeah. This is his favorite candy. You like Reese? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> love toy. Did you put your Did you put your yoni smell on it? Uh, it's <laughs> 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 yoni all on it. Oh. <laughs> 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 See, you see, you see my baby car. Let's, let's open it up. Oh God. Oh, don't worry about that name on the side. But this is for you. <laughs> 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 this is for you, dude. Hold on, what is the, what the fuck is the name on that? Who did what you steal that from? You that man done messed no, up already. We messed up a week before. Yeah, damn. You know our name together is Breezy. Breezy and Breezy. Breezy and Breezy. Ain't that something? Yes, Breezy. Test take his the E E S E and take his first two initials. You got your Ooh, sound like she gonna be having Peanut letters sent to your house Reese from cut up newspapers, my man. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that was cute, some briefies, PC. Thank you, I'm, I'm touched. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> she said the candy oh, named you. after I, her. I am touched. Thank you. I, I am so she good. trying to touch you. <laughs> I know you don't want Alan to get a whiff of the pheromone. Don't be jealous. <laughs> don't be jealous, AI. You never know what happens here. <laughs> Everybody, comedian, extraordinary actress, Reese. Reese Cup, y'all. I'm going to get you some benefits. He got a good job. <laughs> Daddy, step, oh, step, sure. daddy. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> we do, we do. Ain't yes. that right, Breezy? <laughs> like, like, Breezy oh, can't say game. nothing. Yes, Breezy yes. can't say one oh, word. You right. got my heart all across the computer. Boy, he oh, looks oh, Chinese oh, over oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> get that lint, get that lint, get that lint. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Yes. Oh. He scared, hey look, he scared Dior gonna show up. He scared Dior. Oh, wait a minute, I got something for her too. Oh, you, you both ways? No. Oh, no. damn, all right, man, we no, just making sure. She's a friend of my son. Oh, for real, that's, that's, that's dope. Son. That's our son's friend. <laughs> Ain't that something? Small world. Small, yeah. small world. Can you yeah. get smaller, smaller, smaller. <laughs> Well, yes. we thank you so much, Reese. Yes. Everybody, Reese Cup, man. Make sure y'all check her out. <laughs>
got something now, do you, you have any to... dates? Now, hold on. Before you leave, do you have any dates where you're going to be doing any comedy at, uh, in, the, in the near future or in this the, month? Um, No, not... Mm, well, I was supposed to do the social 228, but nobody's gotten back with me on that. So okay. that I don't know. So if you want to book me, go to Althea MC71 um, to book me. I do Christian shows, breezy shows. Is that is that an email? Fifteen is foot pole a, uh, drops. Is that an email? Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> your son, Joe, your son. Our son. Our <laughs> son. <laughs> 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 That's why he's just photography and all that stuff too. He coming up too. That's why we keeping it in the family. Oh God, Breezy got a whole yeah. son out this joke. <laughs> he ain't even know about it. How you know? You got a you got a good jump start. Uh, a good jump. I got start. something for you too, Al. And you too, um, AI and you too, Redbone. Okay. Redbone. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh look. No. It Wait, ain't no. nothing what like this. It? No. Okay. <laughs> only because Breezy said it was okay. Um, so could you um, give me the thing out the bag that I got for um these two? Y'all only get honorable <laughs> mentions. Oh, okay. we get honorable we mentions. We don't even get our right. name mentioned on no, 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 no. these two. <laughs> It's <laughs> all so good. We always get cheated out of everything, bro. We're not dark enough. We're not black <laughs> black enough in our in our language. Our hair is. I'm telling you. Don't have your time all these ingrown hairs I get on my goddamn face, I am black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blacker than most people. Oh, got that motherfucker. I am. No, AI don't get nothing sweet. <laughs> Breezy said you don't deserve it. Oh. <laughs> but you do get a flower. Ain't it pretty? Guess what I'm coming out with next year? A yellow rose of Texas. I'm going to have my, my Johnson oh, smell sweet. all over this. <laughs> Y'all can buy it at your local Walgreens. With that ball sweat? Next to the smudgers. <laughs> you can smudge your house oh, with a cock with a cock, <laughs> a cock flavored rose. Oh, no. Well, that's how you release it right there. You got to jerk it off. You can help us out Boom. with this, uh, this next topic that we have. <laughs> Valentine's Day. So, um, with Valentine's Day, you get Valentine's Day promotions. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Restaurants and businesses and things of that nature. So, are Burger you good King, standing up? You yeah, want to get a seat? I'm good. Sure. We can move a seat over here. Be okay. Oh my goodness. What's y'all? Okay, all right. So since we on that subject, what's y'all favorite position? Pole position. You can do a lot on them poles. Jesus she ain't gonna Christ. fall even. She got a good grip. Go, 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 say. go ahead, Breezy. Go, go, say. Do a close up of this fool, yo. Oh. Look at his face. <laughs> he looks like he is from Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> that is the chinkiest right. eyes I've right. ever seen. The most Asian eyes I've ever seen in my life, oh, bro. Yeah. Speechless. I love it. I'm the best Valentine's Day gift you got. They'll put the most unique. <laughs> 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 Look, my best honey, number one. Original. So, 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 so Burger King mm-hmm. is running their own Valentine's Day promotion. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, not unlike any other restaurant, where if you uh, what, show them a picture of your ex, you would then get a premium. Mm. That's right. That'd be great. First and fucking foremost, <laughs> who keeping pictures of their exes? G- good question. Uh, you can find it on Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. So for the for those that are lonely, so let me ask you this. All right, so I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. This is a this is a whole stunt, right? This is a whole stunt. But I still don't understand like what is the purpose? What are they going to do to it once they get the picture? No, but no way. It's just ways to get people in because yeah. because Valentine's Day, not people go to fast food restaurants. They go to actual restaurants. Yeah. So this is just a way to bring customers in. Well, yeah, I, I guess I, so. Yeah. I, I was gonna say because for those that are gonna be alone, 
now you can just get a free meal. I hate you. I get a burger. Well, what's even worse than that? Damn the burger. How about you want to see your ex get eaten? Mm. You can actually, there's a there's a zoo um, in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. San Antonio Zoo. Leave the are naming roaches and rats after, after your, your ex. ex. And feeding them. And feeding them to snakes. insects no, and no, snakes. No. They're, 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 they're naming what they're feeding. The snake. Yeah, they, they, after they, your ex. they name your the, your ex after a a rat or a roach. Now, did I actually uh bring you some film on that, PJ? Okay, all right, never mind then. So, so some research. But it was <clears> pictures <throat> I seen. Yeah, but it was just one picture. It was just a reference. It's all good. So, uh, Reese's. Reese's. I know you just all jumped out. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> boy, that boy, that boy nose ring got tied in the knot just now. So, what, <laughs> yeah. what, what do you normally do to celebrate Valentine's? What you mean? She's doing it now. Mm. I said normally. It was, it was prior, <laughs> prior, prior to this year. <laughs> okay. Prior to meeting you, I'm a service for you on Valentine's. Like that new movie come out. Oh, the, oh I want to see that. I don't watch movies. I want to see that. I actually do want to see that too. Mm. Oh, well, look. Y'all got a common ground. Yeah, yeah, Y'all can go watch that together, and you can put a hole in the bottom of the popcorn, and uh, I'm, I know I'm gonna take care of you. Later on. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna kick my ass? Judy, Pat. I know. Actually, you want some more butter? You're gonna kick my ass later on. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, the extra lube, Reezy. Reezy. So, the butter. Uh, Baby. <laughs> that's your that's your that's your soft spot, Breezy. Some places we don't know about yet. I didn't even know. Yo. So you know. He over there like, man, you close my nipples. <laughs> I like you, but I don't. I appreciate you, but I hate you at the same time. You know, no, uh, uh, keep it. Keeping with the love theme or, or lack thereof, there's a uh, Canadian uh, out of Ottawa, an Ottawa businessman decided to do what I'm pretty sure every man that has to pay, uh, what do you call that? Alimony. Alimony would love to do. Mm -hmm. So he thumbed his nose up at a court order to prove who, what his assets are mm -hmm. and how much they are for. He took out a million dollars out of the bank. Mm -hmm. Two separate occasions. 230,000 one time, 600, whatever, thousand other time, and literally burned the money. If that ain't white privilege at its finest, slim. Run one, run one, run one. It slim. is beyond. Do we have a video of that? I have a picture. We did not, we yeah, I could not find video on him. That's the young man with the glasses, sir. So, uh, it's the only white man I have in that uh that whole bunch. So, so in order to get out of paying alimony, and to prove to the court <laughs> how much his assets are, he, he literally burned. took. Did you understand? Did you you know, have a million, a million dollars to literally burn. Well, he, burned he can get it back. No million dollars. He can definitely it's get it insured, back. Insured. Yeah, but, but why, they give it but why get it back though if you don't have to? Why is he not incorporated? You gotta be a corporation so uh, that you don't get burnt like that. Look, like that money's supposed to be in a corporation. Get back skills is one thing. I don't want to have to get back that way because I'm burning million dollars. Man. That man trying to go he over here and fight for ch Popeye's chicken sandwiches right. and shit. He over here trying to be in the hood and fight for chicken, <laughs> so, Popeye's so. chicken sandwiches. Just, if you're going to burn it, just give hey, it. Because you don't you know. fight because you don't want to give her the money. Oh. No, I, 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 I would I, do it. I've heard stories oh. of, you know, the husband or, or the wife hiding separate accounts. Yeah, that's. In order to thwart having to pay this, but burning the million dollars mm. in cash. Slim. The baby mamas that I have, I'm willing to burn my Johnson right now. If that would keep me from having to pay that, man. You hear me? What? Somebody I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. All right. All right. I keep that, that cool. I keep that cool. <laughs> but it's not me. That was though. <laughs> right. Dollars, you, he though. can't get that back, though. <laughs> that you can't get back. You burn that. You, you both as a will. If I worth a million dollars, I can buy a new Johnson. I, you I can buy a whole new it. Oh, my. Don't get cut. <laughs> now, 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 Reese's, if, if you were in that position, would you have burned a million dollars in cash? Uh, 
Give me on a horse naked and turn me back with no. All the sentimental stuff coming out. Right. Now this love right here, this love, love, bro. Backwards. Naked horse back. Naked on the horse back for everybody. You're not even gonna grab the mane of the horse. You're gonna grab the tail of the horse. Oh yeah, he like to ride that pony. Jump on it. Yeah. Now, before you even go there, <laughs> since we're talking about gifts that you've given and everything, I actually slept. I actually snuck in one, and Kentucky Fried Chicken actually has a pair of Crocs coming out. Now, the Crocs, if you can see right there, has a big ass drumstick on it. Which most women like flat, so I don't understand where they gonna go with this. You dig what I'm saying? And it actually smells like the original Colonel Sanders recipe. Uh, so it's like a scratch and sniff. Some people don't need that. So you're gonna smell like corn chips the cross gonna smell that and fried chicken. That's for some of you funky foot motherfuckers. Crocs gonna already smell yeah. like chicken. You wear them without socks. Mm. So you gonna have, walk around smelling like Crocs around me a cat. So now you revealing some weird stuff about you. No, no I, I don't wear Crocs. I, people, I've, said this, I've smelled people's crocs. I've been saying this for years. Crocs. Because they take their feet off. They Somebody has a off. fetish. Yeah, no, I know. And it's toe jam, y'all. <laughs> 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 hey, Chad, before we make love, you got to pull them crocs off, Chad. All of them nurses, RNs. She be over there stocking RNs and shit. <laughs> she at Washington Hospital Center. Oh. You know what? <laughs> I've been saying this. Yo. When people take their Crocs off, you can smell it. Okay, I don't get that close to Crocs. Damn it! I see you now. Is your favorite brand Birkenstocks? <laughs> <laughs> I like the Birkenstocks. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I've been saying for years, Crocs remind me of County Jail slippers. Bro, but they way more comfortable, bro. Yeah, they, they, they ugly as hell, but they, they comfortable they, they, they as mud, mud, bro. Especially for us flat foot. Wide, you know, black folk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that shit is the bombest, bro. Now, the now, bombest. now, before we get out of here, this, I, this is something I want to talk about that I mentioned. I, I am a huge Snoop Dogg fan. Mm -hmm. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I'm not a fan of people bringing up Kobe Bryant's alleged transgressions that he was not found guilty of. For sure. Before a man's put in the dirt. And he, and rest he, no peace, longer, he got laid And he's no longer here to defend himself. Uh -huh. So, with Gail King. You know, interviewing Lisa Leslie, who, who which held it like a champ. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Awesome. Shout out to the sister. Shout out to Lisa Leslie, but Gail kept pushing. She didn't like Lisa Leslie's answer, which basically, which basically is like, do you believe he did it? Hell no. That's what she said, verbatim. That's what she said. Hell no. He didn't do it. He's not that kind of person. But Gail didn't like that. So she kept pushing. Kept pushing. Well, what is such and such and such and such? And, and, How right. And, and so, right. right. Just and, and so of course, you know, there's gonna be some backlash, and that's rightfully it should be. It should be. Um, I, I kind of draw a line, you know. Snoop Dogg was one of my favorite rappers, you know, one of my favorite people. You know, uh, uh, called her what, a, a dog, a funky, oh, yeah. a funky dog head, dog headed B I T C H. Yeah. Now, I understand the crux of his criticism. He's not here. Let the man rest in peace. I get all that. She's still, regardless you like her or not, she's still somebody's mom. On she's, the dead she's homies, still, she's and she ain't black. got no kids, huh? She's still, she's still black. She's still somebody's On mom. On the dead homies, I mean, I mean, she's somebody's, you know, aunt, daughter, whatever. We can disagree without having to. Wrong answer. Okay. Wrong answer there. Wrong answer there. Okay. Wrong answer there. There is no way that you can sit up there. Now, if that was your father, if that was your brother, they got murdered. No, no, so you would definitely no, 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 not hold back emotion. No, no, you no. would not have a, enough cooth no, no, and enough uh, no, uh, uh, tact when is, you're highly emotional the, like the, that. The difference is you say if that was my dad. My, you know what I'm saying? And I understand when you're close to somebody, that yeah, your, your feelings are going to be a little raw. You know what I'm saying? And yes, he did know Kobe. But when you talk about threat somebody, I'm gonna come get you. I think I think a line was crossed. Now here you I go. Think, I think line now here you go. Now you know damn well you black, right? Now you know when we say we coming to get you, that means we coming for you. That means that doesn't mean literally we, I gotta he lay was, hands he was upon. Angry, you. so okay. No, this is figuratively that, speaking. No, I, That's I, emotion I that, talk. Again, we can just let's say if it was my parent, my family, not just somebody I just know. Yeah, I get that. So we can disagree. Without having to go overboard. But it depends on the, how the relationship. Because if he looked at him like he was family, then of course he's gonna react. And again, I say if you're close to somebody, right. if you're close to somebody, no longer defend himself, you're going to respond how you respond. My brother. So was it, when you have a person acts 
out of their character, they can be called out of their name. You, you get me? Okay, that's the question. And you, that was perfect. Do y'all think that she should have been called a yes. dog-headed bitch? Yes, because she called him a rapist in his death, in lieu of his death. Red? Who is she? I'm not sure if I, I'm, I'm not sure. He Out of anger, you don't know. I cannot say whether or not what I would have done, because I'm not sure. Lisa Leslie handled it with class. Mm. I, I, I love her for that, but I'm going to be honest with you. Anybody else in this room that would have gotten interviewed by her, we all come from a different a different background than her. We don't have as millions of dollars in a brand at at, 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 at yeah. risk, okay? But we would have cussed her ass out right there on the spot, bro. Well, we'll cuss her out. That's fine. Now, I don't know why you're trying to empathize with her. And I'm actually, not empathizing with You're you. empathizing with her, and she never empathized about Gigi. She never mentioned Gigi dying. I'm not empathizing with her. She talked about a, a slew of people that died in a freaking helicopter crash in the wrong context. And she only wanted to focus in on a negative and not, hey, look, it was a horrible death. I'm not Rest in peace and just leave it at that. I'm not she with her. should be called a bitch. You act as such. Just like when you call people stupid, you don't mean that they're literally dumb and, and, and slow. They're acting out of character at that point, that moment. You deserve to be called I, that I tell you what, as we, such. We actually got to get out of the way for the new swerve coming on after for us. For sure. So, uh, where can we reach you at? Uh, Louisa Herrera on Facebook and Lovely Beautiful Mind 30 at uh, Instagram and Twitter. Reese? They can reach me at Althean on Instagram and Althean and of course, you can reach me at AI McDowell Ferguson on Facebook, Red Nose 1999 on IG, and Red Nose 199 on Twitter. And the Red Nose stands for the pit bull, not the clown, man. You can catch me at Gail House trying to figure out how thick she is because I saw them pictures, Gail. You just thick, young. You 70 years old. Thick. And uh, you can find me on social media, Bridge Taylor, B R E A Z Y Taylor. And here every Wednesday, 9 to 10, we out of here. It's live from the corner, y'all.